A very good afternoon to you. This is a Tech Guru where we look at all things technical. Today we're going to be looking at how to share the internet connection from your iPhone to your PC or laptop using a USB cable. This video assumes you have the latest iOS update on your iPhone. You're running iTunes version 9.2 or later and you've at least opened iTunes once previously. We'll also be looking at a really useful tip later on in the video on how to actually monitor your data usage when using your laptop because this can be heavy on the data usage, so keep watching for that useful tip. But in the meantime, let's just jump into the detail now. So for the purposes of this video today, we're using an iPhone 6S and a Lenovo IdeaPad 320S, and we've also got the USB to Lightning cable there. So the first thing to do is to make sure that your laptop is on. Let's move that out of the way. And as you can see here, basically, it is not connected to the internet at the moment, the computer, so it says not connected. Connections are available though. So if we make sure that's there, okay. Now, going back to the iPhone itself, what you need to do is make sure the Wi Fi is actually turned off because it won't, sharing your internet connection from your phone to a computer or tethering won't work if Wi Fi is turned on. It has to use a cellular network. So I'm using a cellular network here. We've got a good 4G connection, so that's all set up. Okay, so on your iPhone, make sure that your Bluetooth's on. Most people have that on anyway, um, but just make sure that's on. So if we go into settings itself, um, we turn on the personal hotspot. It will say Wi-Fi is off. Personal hotspot will only be available um, over Bluetooth and USB, etc. So if we click Bluetooth and USB only. So that's set that up. Now we're actually going to wire it up. Okay. It will then ask you if trust this computer, your settings of data will be accessible from this computer when connected wirelessly or using a cable. So obviously if you don't trust it, then hit don't trust. But if you're just setting it up and it's your computer, then trust it. Okay. And it will also ask you to enter a device password. I'm just going to move away a moment. But once we put that password in, which is if you like to your unlocking password, it then connects straight away. So personal hotspot, one connection. So that now should be connected itself, okay? What we can then do is go back onto the computer. And if we look at the list of connections on here, it says iPhone internet access is working. But if for some reason it's not working, if we just click on it, and then you've obviously got other selections here. So it says here that the iPhone is connected. So if we just go back to the web page and just hit google.com you can see that it's working now we're going to look at how to meter a data connection okay so we're going to show you now how to just quickly turn on a data management tool here as I mentioned earlier because when you're tethering for, or you're showing your internet connection from your phone to your laptop computer it can eat through quite a lot of data particularly when using sort of the laptop PC so if I just pull this a bit closer to us, hopefully you'll be able to see that. So if you go into your settings now on the Lenovo, I know these will differ by computer. So if you go into your network connection and bring those all up, and then if you go into iPhone, now if you can't get into it that way on your PC or laptop, computer or laptop, if you go to the control panel and look at network and internet and sharing options, etc., that'll bring sort of these up here. So on here we're looking at the Ethernet options. So Ethernet options showing as iPhone. So if we click that, as we said earlier, you can have a public or private sort of um, network profile. But down here you've got something called set as meter connection. So if you set a data limit, Windows will set a meter connection setting for you to help you stand your limit. So if you click that as being on, okay. And obviously computers will differ in terms of how they actually look and the functionality, but there will be a way to sort of set this generally on your uh, computer. So if you're going to set data, so obviously Wi-Fi, we're not worried about that, although you can do it for that as well, but we don't normally do it for that. So if we click on Ethernet 2, for example, which is the iPhone, um, we can obviously reset those stats as well. So if we go back, what we'll do is will show the settings for the Ethernet connection. So what we can do is Windows can help you stand your data limit. So we can set a limit. So for example, if we, um, let's say it's 100 gigabytes or megabytes. 
let's put 100 megabytes just for example for the sake or though you no know, one gigabyte probably be more appropriate depending on your data allowance and then you can limit this so monthly one time or unlimited so obviously if it's monthly you get a reset date one time um, it's just like a one-off or unlimited so if we do that monthly and then we'll just put the for example a reset restart date from today reset date so now what we're saying is every month we've got one gig of data allowed for um, tethering from the iPhone to the computer or laptop so if we just save that and that's set up so and what you can do now is um, it will tell you how many days till reset for example it will tell you how much has been used and what's remaining and obviously the background data, you can restrict it to help reduce data usage. So you can limit what store apps and window features can do in the background. So you can always limit them. You can never limit them or when you're in 10%. So that's entirely up to you. And just one final point to note is that when you actually go over your allowance that you've set, the computer will actually tell you, or in this case, the Lenovo IdeaPad 320S is telling us that we're actually now over our data allowance. So that's a really useful tool. If you found our video useful today, please leave any comments that you may have below. And be sure to click the subscribe button to see more how-to videos like this one or review videos in future. Or check out the other links appearing on screen now. But thanks for watching how to share the internet connection from your iPhone to your PC or laptop using a USB cable. We'll see you next time.